Good morning. We're here in the Quintech Putting Bay at our Minnetonka store here at Second Swing. We're going to talk a little bit about how we fit putters and a little bit about putter dynamics. I'm Larry Bopka. This is Danny Farrell, another master fitter here at Second Swing. And we're just going to talk about what, what kind of goes on in a putter fitting, how a putter can really change what happens to your putting stroke. You know, it's very interesting. A lot of players come in and say, boy, you know, I'm not putting very well. Well, because the ball, because we putt on the ground, we don't get an opportunity to see the ball flight like we do in a, in a, in a track man bay, right. okay? You don't really know if you have the wrong loft or the wrong style of putters. So why don't we just have a little quick discussion about the style of putters, okay? Everybody talks about blades. This is a Cameron Newport. It is what's considered a blade. If you go back in the old days. You know that well. I do, thank you. And blades were, blades were basically end shafted, Wilson 8802 style, okay? But this is kind of considered a blade now. So just to, just to give you the dynamics of a putter, this has a moment of inertia. What is moment of inertia? I have no idea. Tell me. It's, Keep it simple, It's please. the resistance of twisting. So if I don't hit this in the center of the face, how much is this putter head going to twist? Putters like this, blade style, answer, Newport, it's going to have about a 5,000 number, which is okay, but it's not great. Okay? So, and also the center of gravity of the putter tends to sit right kind of on the back of the blade there. Okay, that's where the CG is. Now we've got what we call, we've got a Betnardi mid mallet here. Okay, kind of similar look, but it's got a wider look to it. Absolutely. Okay. What does that well, do for me? What that does for you is it moves the center of gravity back a little bit, so it creates a little bit more resistance to twist. Anytime the center of gravity moves back from the shaft, Danny, the putter face wants to square itself, okay? So you think about a driver. Driver's got a big weight in the back. That's center of gravity, and that's why manufacturers put weight in the back to help square that face. It's the same thing in, the, it's the same thing in a putter. So this one probably sits about right there. I'd say an MOI number for this one around 6,500. Okay. So Not come, bad. Coming up a little so bit. So coming up a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to move on to, you know, kind of this space age looking mount. But it's like, well, why are these putters designed like this? You know, we're just putting. You know, we're just hitting the ball on the ground. They're not all the same. Right? They're not all the same. Because this one, as you see, is face balanced. So what does face balance do versus a toe hang putter? Okay, once again, the resistance to twist. It's easier to square this. Okay. Then as we take a look here, now center of gravity way back here. They've got weights back in here. This is going to help you square the club face. This is going to help you as you come through. So then the question becomes, why doesn't everybody putt with this if it's the true, best? True. Moment of inertia, probably over eight, maybe 9,000. Okay. Very high, very high resistance to twist. One of the things in putters, though, is the moment of inertia goes up, you lose a little bit of feel, okay? And some of the best players in the world like feel. Some old guys who have grown up on blades, <coughs> I putt very well with these, Thank you again, Danny. I, I just don't like the feel because I like the feedback, mm. okay? Mm. Could I roll the ball better? Possibly, but I teach short game and putting, so I practice a lot. I get a lot of chance to roll the golf ball. I get a lot of chance to work on my feel. So, you know, better player, you get a chance to do it. But if you're one of those weekend warriors or monthly warriors to play golf, mm -hmm. boy, probably going to go here. So we've got a little demonstration here where Danny's going to hit a blade versus this high moment of inertia ping putter, and we're going to see what the Quintec numbers say. And what Quintec does, basically for lack of a better term, and if you've seen any of my videos before, it's the 
track man of putting. It gives us launch angle, gives us overspin rate, hopefully overspin, we don't want backspin, mm -hmm. and side spin rate. So it gives us information that you can't see when you're putting. And one of the things you gotta remember about putting, Danny, and I know we talk about this all the time in our fittings is, this is a part of the game where you have the least control. When the ball's in the air, I've got control of it. When you're hitting a pitch shot, when you're hitting a seven iron, right. you can control that. There's no control here. We got grass, we got ball marks, we have spike marks, we have footprints. Mm -hmm. You need, the only way to putt is to strike it as solidly as you possibly can at the right speed to get those putts to go in. So why don't we have you hit a putt here with the 5,000 MOI Scotty Cameron, and let's see what kind of numbers we get. All right, go ahead. Okay, now you look at that and everybody goes, wow, that looked pretty good. You just missed the hole. But we've got a launch angle issue. You know, Danny, you're a pretty good player. You're gonna hit it pretty squarely, but the ball's launching too high. It's still got some overspin, but it's also got high side spin, okay? So what happens is the more side spin you have, the more the balls dominate. Every golf ball wants to go to true roll, but if it starts this way, or if it starts backwards, right. it's gonna spend a lot of its energy trying to get to true roll. Okay. You know, we've talked about it before, talk about the guys that come in and I, I can't hit my line. Do they have good Quintec numbers? They don't. No. no. Because the ball doesn't roll the way they think it's going to roll. Mm -hmm. Then they start questioning, hey, am I reading the greens right? Right. Right? 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 Yeah. Uh, how many times do we get somebody come in here and it's like, well, I'm not reading the greens. Well, okay, well, let's have you hit a couple putts. Mm -hmm. And their numbers are not good. Right. Okay? So let's go ahead and have you hit the mallet here. Great roll there. Now look at that. So we get beautiful launch angle on that. Thank you. Yep. Almost, almost too much overspin. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But look at the side spin. Now the side spin's gone down to three. All we've done is by changing the style of putter to match your putting stroke. And everybody has a different putting stroke, right. okay? I putt differently than you putt it. You're very conventional, your hands are there. I have a lot of movement on my hands. I'm a forward presser, yep. okay? Mm -hmm. But I like that, that's my trigger to start it. So I, I have a little bit more loft on my putters than you are. I'm guessing you're probably maybe around two degrees. You nailed it. You might okay. know what you're talking about here. Well, because you, you have to think about it, that if I'm gonna putt, okay, and if I'm gonna be at 90 degrees when I make impact, I need that putter to be about a degree and a half to two degrees to get us the correct roll, okay? Most tour players have a little bit more loft than that because they work to be shaft forward. They wanna feel like their hands always lead, okay? One of the things that we see that we really struggle with people is hands back at address. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that is not a good thing because that tends to add loft, add loft to the putter that we already have. So, one of the other misconceptions that I'd love to talk about really quickly is this putter right here. Okay, a lot of mallets, a lot of people playing with mallets, tour players, good players. Uh, like we said, very forgiving, as you see, very forgiving for you, yes. okay? A lot of people tend to set them back. They'll address it and they'll move that, they'll feel like that's the way to set it up, okay? Putters have a thing called draft angle, okay? Meaning the loft of the putter is measured shaft to face, but face to sole, there's actually more loft face the sole so you don't catch it going back. You know, nobody wants to take a putter back and all of a sudden hit it in the grass. 
So you can't set that putter back. You've got to feel like you want to set that putter and get that shaft at 90 degrees. I mean, we see that all the time. I know you've seen that in fittings here where, you know, it sits back like that and it just leads to, it leads to bad numbers, it leads to bad putting. But one of the things that I'd like to emphasize in this before we're done is come get your putter. It's 40% of the strokes that you play in a round of golf. 40. Sometimes if you're putting bad, maybe even a little bit more. Okay? 40%. If you get the rest of your 13 clubs fit and you don't get your putter fit, quite frankly, I'm going to tell you right now, you're crazy. You got to come in, you got it. The easiest way to affect your golf scores is to putt better. Okay? Think about it. If you could eliminate three putts, how low would your scores go? Mm -hmm. If you could be better from six feet in, how much better would your scores be? Okay? And a lot of that is not necessarily because you read the greens bad, okay, or you have a bad stroke. A lot of times you have a bad implement, okay? I like my favorite term is when people come in here, it's like trying to eat soup with a fork. It's not very efficient. You might get a noodle, you might get a little broth, but you're not going to get what you want. You got to come in and get your putter fit to really help you score better. Winter time, perfect time to come in and get fit for putters. So, Danny, any questions to me before we before we end this? I don't think so. I mean, we we diagnosed the three different putter types. Okay. Next thing for you as a player to diagnose is which one's best for you. Everybody's got their own putter. Yep. Right? Yep. Everybody has their own stroke, like the fingerprint. Yep. Right? Which one is best for you? Come in, get fit. Let's drop some birdies out there. Right? Come in, get your confidence up, get a putter that fits you. And again, you don't have to spend five or six hundred dollars. You can spend a hundred dollars for a putter. But we are gonna get you a putter that's gonna help you play better. All right, Danny, thanks for your help today. Thanks, Larry.